Hello, uh, my name is Samuel Barry. I'm 17 from Sydney, Australia. For me, writing has always been an escape because like, I like to put things down in various formats. I like to write skits and comedy and stuff. But at the same time, I try to bring out like realness of like writing. Anytime I'm feeling stressed, happy, just when I feel any emotion in general or have anything happen to me in general, I like to put it down on paper. Like you can't have a voice if you fight for a voice, you know what I mean? But it depends how much it depends how much you actually go for it. Some people don't have a voice, like the majority of us don't have a voice because you know, like, you know, we've been raised in that corporate generation where people are you know, people have, you know, have been dependent on the corporation. Like you're growing up, your parents will tell you, you got to go to uni, you know, you got to go through the whole process of life, you know, to get a stable job. When artistic people, uh, artistic people that want to push past the norm and pursue like a career, which is not, you know, which it's, it's basically a win or lose. We don't have, you know, the most voices we, we're seen as abnormal and people don't, you know, it goes against conformity and it just pushes against the gears, the gears of reality. So that's what I'm saying. The banter, the bickering, a bunch of no noises bellowing in the background, a bunch of screams, a bunch of cries. You've changed, you don't know me. They clash with lashes of verbal beatdown, while deep down they hear the beatings of love drums, rummaging through their hearts. They want to be together, but they push each other away. She says things like, I love you today and always, and I'll love you through every day. She giggles and kisses them as they shy away. He looks deep down in her eyes and begs her to stay, but they fight, they scream, they yell, they're teens. What do they know of life? They're still walking down the lonely paths of capitalism. Why do they slow themselves down trying to keep with a person who is pulling them down? Love, love endures all, but how do they know that their love is true? How are they sure that the love is forever? How do they know that they're not holding each other back from reaching the destined path of who they're truly meant to be with? They want to have lives by themselves, but they choose to separate. Sometimes you have to look through for the future. You don't wait, you grab what you want, you go for the future, you go for what you want, you fight for yourself. Banter, bickering, yelling and screaming, tears, irrationality, fears of deafness as they don't listen. He assumes, he assumes she doesn't know. She studies him. She wants him to go. Is love pain? But how are you sure there's a bearable pain and some people can't change the feeling of pain into a feeling of pleasure? Is pain what society accepts as love? Why isn't there happiness like the mainstream media? Reality never lives up to expectations set by Hollywood. I guess that's why people find means to escape this world through movies, shows, books, radios. It's all an illusion. Which people can get addicted to and to view the personal reality and existence based off its watching Time fly day by day as they do nothing and the reaper knocks at your door. Do they enter the personal reality of truth and imagination? What are they going to find? Heaven? I mean, I love doing stand-up, so you know, I'm going to keep doing some stand-up. But I like poetry on the side because, you know, it helps me, you know, channel my energy through a different format. And as an artist, I think it's good to, like, do what you haven't done before and try to perfect it, because I'm about perfecting it. I should have memorized it, but now that I've seen for the first time my competition, you know I gotta bring it big next time. 